I have a bottle with a spherical cavity. There's a microphone inside the cavity to measure pressure. The neck of the bottle is near a loudspeaker that's going to drive it with sound. I'm using a frequency analyzer to send a sound signal to the bottle and to measure the response from the microphone to measure its frequency response and to see what I get. Here's a close-up picture showing the bottle and the microphone. I'm going to use a sine swept measurement which puts out a single frequency to the loudspeaker and measures the microphone response at that same frequency before changing the frequency to the next step. And I've got the video sped up so it takes a shorter amount of time to go through the entire sweep. Here's what the data looks like. There's a very nice clean peak frequency response showing the resonance. So now let's take and add a little bit of damping by putting some cotton, a very thin layer of cotton in the neck of the bottle to impede the airflow, make it more difficult for the air to move in and out of the bottle. Now if I do a swept sign, I've got the original undamped resonance peak in the background and the new picture with a little bit of damping shows that the resonance frequency is a little bit lower and the amplitude is a little bit lower because of the damping. And now if I shove a whole wad of cotton into the neck to really impede the motion, really cause a large amount of damping, and then do the same swept sign measurement. So there's the original peak in the background. And I'm cycling through, changing the frequency, measuring response. But now we're going to find that there is a very, very great reduction in the amplitude. And the peak frequency is much lower because of the damping in the neck of this resonator.